Hello guys, welcome back to another revisiting. Today we are revisiting The Lord of the Rings. The Fellowship of the Ring. Yes, this is the first movie in the Lord of the Rings franchise and if you guys have missed it, I have watched all of the Hobbit movies. We are now on to the fourth movie in the Middle Earth saga. I am watching them in order of story chronologically, obviously not released chronological. This would be the first movie that has been released in this series, but it is the fourth movie of the Middle Earth saga, if you will. And this is The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, based off the book written by J.R.R. Tolkien, and it is directed and written and all that by Peter Jackson. Now, amazing film. This is not going to be a terrible review, of course. This is Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. If you've never seen Lord of the Rings, and believe me, there's people out there in my life that I know have never seen Lord of the Rings, I don't know how you've survived because it is like like I love Star Wars Star Wars is my number one but Lord of the Rings for me is like it's just a good well-made film it's like everything down the barrel of the lens is real like do you know I mean there's li very little CGI um in the movies and very much just the wide pan shots of like the earth that they couldn't populate with thousands of people that's basically it most of the stuff down the lens is real um and I love that this was amazing nostalgia right through the roof I watched the extended edition as I've watched with all the other ones this is three hours and 48 minutes long but it was around three hours 20 when the the film finished because there was about 28 minutes of like basically credits so there's that just goes to show how many people is involved in these films especially these ones now no like cgi vfx artists but more like people actually extras who are real orcs running around it's just wild this movie though does pick up more or less like straight after the third hobbit movie i think it's like 60 years after but we did get like a little um you know transition um of bilbo i guess and one of the things i did like about this i watched this on um itunes so basically i, I have all of the extended versions on itunes and they didn't they haven't like edited in you know like a younger version of martin freeman there's actually a scene in the film where you know martin freeman's character bilbo Baggins finds the ring and um you know he is not played by Martin Freeman. Of course Ian Holm plays the original Bilbo Baggins and he actually recreated or filmed the scenes of him finding the ring in the cave with Gollum but something George Lucas would have done is editing Martin Freeman doing that rather than that so I really like that aspect I mean it made me think of that a little bit but of course this movie here's a star-studded cast Elijah Wood, Ian McKellen, Viggo Mortensen as Aragorn, Sean Astin as Samwise, we get Sean Bean obviously in there as Boromir, I totally forgot about him as a character in life in general, Dominic Mohanagat Monaghan, uh, Christopher Lee, you know uh, Hugo Weaving, Orlando Bloom, Kate Blanchett, Andy Serkis of course and the list goes on. It it is a star-studded cast and it's one of those like proper adventure movies you know um it's, it feels like like a proper like underdog movie like this person Frodo Baggins basically was given this ring or he just came onto this ring and you know he was in the wrong place at the wrong time kind of vibes you know and, and now he's led on this quest to try and um you know to bring all these people of Middle Earth together and they have to destroy the ring basically um because if the ring gets into uh, Sauron's hands then he is going to be more more powerful than ever and everyone else are at risk it's a really cool concept everyone kind of has to get together even though things like elves and dwarves don't get on this is like you know this ring has now come to life because Bilbo found her in a cave um, and and that story then was led on there was a lot of stuff happening in there as well there was a lot of like you know obviously Gimli is in the film and, and from the first movies of The Hobbit and we did see like Gimli's parents and they said about like I think there was a line in The Hobbit about you know my son Gimli um, so that's pretty cool you know obviously years after Gimli is a character now in the, in these movies and um, obviously Orlando Bloom coming back um well not coming back but you know what I mean his character obviously continuing on Hugo Weaving is something like 6,000 years old so his character of Elrond is always going to be there but yeah it's such a great world Lord of the Rings and I'm really excited because one of the reasons why I'm doing this is I've never seen the TV show so I wanted to watch all the movies The Hobbit this and then go into the TV show just completely fresh of everything and um yeah so this is why I kind of thought I'll kill two birds with one stone with doing these videos as well uh, but obviously The Lord of the Rings for me amazing movie one thing i did forget about was actually the score um and like how good the music was in the film i cannot for the life of me and i don't know who actually does the music in the films but it's just like awesome there you go i just had to look it up howard shaw uh, did the music for um the lord of the rings movies and the hobbit movies 
yeah, amazing score. Forget how good it is. Like, up there, I would put things like, you know, Star Wars, all the classics that you would expect. But people forget about Lord of the Rings. So I need to add some Lord of the Rings songs to my uh, my movie score playlists, I think. But rating the movie then, what will I rate it? Obviously, it is it is near enough elite for me. It's four and a half stars. Um, I gave it a very high score, of course. It's Lord of the Rings. It's a real captivating journey, an adventure journey. Um, it's, it's, it's good. You know, I'm not going to say, like, it, it did blow me away, you know, in terms of that. But watching the film in 2024 the film came out in 2001 like it looked amazing like 23 years old it's gonna be on its 25th year anniversary which makes me feel really old but like it just looked class like for a film of that age um but yeah lord of the rings fellowship of the ring four and a half star amazing movie amazing to revisit this franchise cannot wait now to watch the two towers obviously the second movie but yeah if you missed any of the hobbit videos please go back and watch those and of course stay tuned subscribe if you want to see the complete ranking all of the lord of the rings and the hobbit movies from the middle earth saga thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more videos coming soon and i'll see you in the next one goodbye